Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So in today's video, this is going to be a skincare focused video. I'm going to be talking about three different products from the brand Ella Frida. This video is going to be sponsored by the skincare brand. So I'd like to let you guys know when I'm working with brands on a video, but I was very excited and curious when they reached out to me. Um, to be honest, I have skincare companies reach out to me, I mean, multiple times a day, and most of them I have to turn down because skincare is not something like makeup where you can just constantly be changing around. I mean, you can if you want, but especially for me and for my skin, when I really disrupt my skincare routine, my skin will freak out. And I think I have found a pretty decent skincare routine. I've figured out what works for me. And so I really just can't do it to myself. I can't do it to my skin. The last time I gave it a try and completely changed up my skincare routine, my skin just freaked out and I dealt with so many breakouts and other really unwanted things on my face for a very long time. I'm not always super open to mixing up my skincare, but when Ella Frida reached out and they explained to me what their products were, they actually had two products in here that I was most interested in because of the ingredients in them and they were actually what I was looking to add into my skincare. The nice thing about what they send along is I have two different moisturizers to talk about and then also the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So instead of getting a whole bunch of cleansers and moisturizers and exfoliators and masks and serums and all these different things that I was going to have to completely change up my skincare routine, I was able to make small changes and add in things and ingredients and products that I was actively looking for to add into my skincare. So that is why I really wanted to um, be able to test out these products from this brand and let you guys know what I think about them. I have been using all of these for about one month now and on a daily basis. And then I also wanted to just let you guys know why I was looking for these certain ingredients in my skincare and why I thought it would be a good idea for me to test them out. So I hope to not make this like an educational <laughs> video because I'm not a skincare expert. I have no training or anything like that in the skincare area. I just do a lot of research and read a lot of different articles, watch a lot of different YouTube videos, and I try to, you know, make my decisions from there. But I really wanted to let you guys know um, why some of these products really piqued my interest. So a big thank you to Ella Frida for reaching out to me and allowing me to make this video with them. Um, these products can be found on Amazon. So I'll have the Amazon links listed down below, and then I know Ella Frida was sending over a 10% coupon code as well, so that will also be in the description box in case that you do want to try these products um, or you're interested in about some of the ingredients in here. I'll have the Amazon links listed down below. So uh, why don't we just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first one that I have is the facial moisturizer. This is what I have been using in the AM. And this actually worked out pretty well for me because I have my AM skincare routine down pretty well, sometimes at night. And then like on the weekends, I'll like mix it up and add in like fun masks and things like that. But my AM skincare is pretty much set, but I'd actually just run out of my moisturizer. So again, this is what I use every morning and this is what the inside looks like. I have been using it, like I said, for about one one month now and I feel like I've barely put a dent in it. There was a lot of product on this little guy at which I don't know why. I I'm one of those people that when this like comes on things, I always put it back. I don't does anybody else do that? I do that for a very long time until I finally just stop getting annoyed with it, but Sometimes I'll leave it on there the whole time. So a lot of times when I first started, I was scraping product off of this at first. Does anybody else do that or am I just weird? That's what I was doing and so I was using this in the morning. What I really liked about this moisturizer is that it was very lightweight. I really cannot stand heavy moisturizers. I don't like moisturizers that are like super white when you put it on your face. It looks like you have sunscreen. I've talked about these types of moisturizers in the past in review videos and how I just don't like thick white moisturizers. I, it's just, I'm not a fan of them at all. So I really enjoyed how lightweight this was, absolutely clear, um, and a very little bit goes a long way. It's awesome because that means that I can have this for a very long time. On Amazon, this is $14.98, so $15 for two fluid ounces of product. I do not find that to be a bad price at all. I do have some high-end skincare in my collection and the moisturizer that I was using previously was in the $60 range, which is very, very pricey. So to be able to have this and see that it's $15 and for how much product you're getting, for how little product you have to use, how long that it can last you, I really think that's a pretty fantastic deal. So I'm gonna talk about some of the ingredients. Like I said, uh, I'm not a, 
I'm not a skincare expert. I'm not trained in any of this stuff. So I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce things. So please <laughs> bear with me. But um, some of the ingredients in here are sodium hy hyalurate and retinol palmate. Palmate. <laughs> Okay, so it's supposed to be deep moisturizing and anti-aging and it says it's good for sensitive or oily skin. Now I have sensitive skin, so when I see products that say they're good for sensitive skin, I'm like perfect because that is what I need and sometimes that's why my face can freak out so bad um, when I change and try other products because I do have the sensitive skin. So. Um, with those key ingredients, I have some notes on my phone here because obviously I knew I wasn't gonna be able to memorize all of this. It adds antioxidant protection against UV rays, which is a huge plus for me. Another good thing about this is that it doesn't leave any sort of greasy feeling. And like I mentioned before, it's not super heavy and it's not white. Like it doesn't gonna feel like you're putting on sunscreen, which sometimes moisturizers can do. So the retinol pomade in here, it's a form of vitamin A. And then in my notes, I have that it helps to stimulate collagen production. Uh, increase cellular cellular rejuvenation and decrease pore size creating softer smoother skin These are all great things but then also one thing that I thought was really interesting that it says um, well it says the retinol pomade is considered to be a gentler milder form of vitamin A but also this is often used in sunscreen because of its antioxidant properties and gentle nature so I thought that was really good too and like I mentioned earlier it helps ward off damage caused by UV rays that's really important especially to me like I said I use this in the morning so when I have something that can help protect from like the sun when I go out that day I think that's a really huge deal and something that I definitely look for in a moisturizer so that's just some information about the actual ingredients in this moisturizer but like I said I think this is a really good AM moisturizer I will continue using it I mean when I decided that I was going to do this video of course it's not just like a send me them I try them out for two days and then make a video type of thing because if I were to start using these products and my face would flare up or I'd have any sort of issues with it that I would not have been able to make this video and that has happened in the past and I've had to not make a video because I was not able to mesh with skincare and that happens um, but because I've been using this for a month I mean I'm not going to stop using it just because I'm out of my review period because I actually really do like this moisturizer. So it's the facial moisturizer that I use in the AM and it is $15. So even though I was really excited to get a new moisturizer because this is one thing I didn't say I am like a freak about moisturizing. I moisturize in the evening, I moisturize in the morning, I usually moisturize sometimes during the day I usually moisturize my face before I do my makeup prep I do a lot of makeup prep videos on Instagram and I'm usually using some type of moisturizer in there moisturizer I definitely think is very important but these next two products I'm going to talk about are the main reasons why I decided to say yes to Ella Frida to making this video and to testing out these products the first one is the hyaluronic acid serum I hear a lot of people talk about hyaluronic acid how fantastic it is how people need it and I'm like okay but why what does it do so again how I said I wanted to make this video kind of educational because as I was looking things up like sure I was seeing on social media and other people's videos like you need this this needs to be in your skincare and my question was well why like what does it do and I feel like I found a lot of really interesting facts from this so Hyaluronic acid is a naturally occurring carbohydrate in the human body. It provides moisture, plumpness, firmness, and suppleness to the skin. All fantastic things, right? But I thought it was interesting. It says one gram or 0.03 ounces of hyaluronic acid can hold up to six liters of water. I don't even understand. Like, that's like mind-boggling to me. And I thought this fact was really interesting. This is from the Ella Frida site. They say how, like, a baby's skin, you know, how it always looks so, like, you know, like you always say like you want to have baby skin. I have an exfoliating water that I've been using recently and it even says right on there like it will make your skin baby smooth. So it says it's because babies are born with a high level of hyaluronic acid which keeps their skin plump and smooth but the amount of hyaluronic acid in the skin diminishes with age and significantly after the age of 40. That's in 10 years for your girl so I'm like wow. Hyaluronic acid is also supposed to be good for any skin types for your oily, dry combo. It is supposed to help for everybody. It also has a lightweight texture which I definitely agree with. This feels like when I put some on my fingers it feels like I have like almost nothing on my fingers and then when I rub it into my face it's just immediately like sinks right into the skin and I go from there it doesn't feel like I'm putting anything heavy it doesn't feel like I'm putting a cream on my face anything like that it definitely has the very lightweight serum feel another good thing about it is that it is good for sensitive skin which again this is something that I always look for because I do have sensitive skin so if you're someone like me with sensitive skin this will also be safe for you and that was one thing that was like the main thing that I wanted to research because when you see the word acid I feel like it can cause like a red flag like what 
what exactly am I putting on my skin? But it is okay for sensitive skin, and I would absolutely agree with that. I use this in the mornings before, like I will cleanse my face, I put this on, and then I follow up with the moisturizer. I've been using this every single morning, and this is something like once I read through everything and I read about how fantastic it is for your skin and how much moisture it's getting like I said I'm a big freak about moisturizing once I saw that like this is stuff that has traveled with me a lot of times when I travel I don't take my full skincare regimen with me sometimes I take my like my little travel sized bottles I'll take like makeup remover wipes you know I don't usually bring my huge bottles of cleanser and things like that but this was something that I have been taking I just thought it was really important and I want to keep using it on a daily basis um, but one other thing that I thought was interesting. It says it has a natural calming benefit, which means it can help sensitive skin as well as blemish prone skin. So if maybe you are someone who deals with a lot of acne, a lot of blemishes, this might be good for that as well. I also thought this was interesting because around the time that I was using it, I was dealing with a lot of breakouts and I hadn't figured out what exactly it was from yet. And I mean, I was having like those really painful like under the skin at first type of pimples and even my Mario Badescu like the drying out lotion that they have like not even that was helping me and I was like ah, crap what is going on and I started using this and I've been able to tell a huge difference in my skin those breakouts have definitely calmed down and even my husband has been dealing a lot with breakouts lately like he's been using the Mario Badescu and he was telling me he's like I don't know if it's just because I'm stressed at work or what it is but his face just like was going crazy and so we are now sharing this bottle so I wanted to help him out and uh, the good thing is that his face is definitely calming down as well so if you are blemish prone having a hyaluronic acid could definitely help as well so once I started looking into it, I could definitely tell that there was going to be a lot of benefits with having the hyaluronic acid serum like I said this has been probably my favorite. You'll get one fluid ounce of product and this is about $15 on Amazon which again I don't think is a bad price either. I, said, I just use it the one time in the morning after I cleanse my face. I apply this and then I follow it with my moisturizer, put an eye cream on and I'm good to go to start my day. So um, I've really been liking this. If you don't have a hyaluronic acid serum in your collection yet, hopefully uh, what I just explained helps you figure out if this is something that you need in your collection. Again like I said I was being told a lot that I needed it but I wasn't really understanding why or the benefits of it. So so hopefully some of that information helped you guys out. So the last product that I have is another moisturizer, but this was the one that really sealed the deal for me that I was like, yes, I need this because I was just talking to a girlfriend on Instagram. She shared a skincare photo and she was talking about the benefits of retinol and how people need retinol in their skincare, um, especially if you are concerned about like anti-aging and wanting to build up your skincare products there that you need retinol. And I said, I commented on her photo and I said, oh my gosh, I don't have any retinol in my skincare. She knows I just turned 30. And I was kind of like freaked out about that fact because you know, it's like, you're 30 now, like, whoa. And she was like, girlfriend, what are you doing? Like you need retinol. I'm like, okay. And I was just, just searching to get products that have retinol in it for my skincare routine when Ella Frida reached out and when I looked at their products and I saw a retinol moisturizer, I was like, oh my gosh, I need retinol. And then it went into, okay, so why do I need it? I know it's good for anti-aging, that's what I learned from my friend's post, but why do I need a retinol moisturizer? So this is what the retinol moisturizer looks like. It comes, it looks um, very similar to the facial moisturizer. And again, I'm like that weirdo that keeps the plastic <laughs> on I have no idea why I do this and then this is definitely like a thicker cream than the moisturizer that I use in the AM but it still has more of a lightweight feeling to it it is just a bit heavier and it has more like the AM moisturizer is completely clear this has a bit of the white tinge to it but once you rub it into your face it completely disappears so you do get two fluid ounces same as the other moisturizer and this is about $18 on the Amazon website again I don't feel like that's a bad price for what it is you're getting and the benefits of retinol. So from my notes, um, I thought it was very interesting looking on the Ella Frida website. One of the first things it says is that dermatologists consider retinol the holy grail of non-invasive wrinkle prevention. I mean, can you just 
sign me up right there because that sounds fantastic. This is a vitamin A derivative and it stimulates collagen production and cell turnover which reduces the appearance of fine lines, even out complexion, and unclogs pores. I always hear about cell turnover. I was just talking about, I think it was the SK2 essence and that was one thing it mentioned, cell turnover. There was another skincare product that I was talking about I think in my Sephora wishlist video that talked about cell turnover. Like this is a big deal. So when I saw that I was like, okay, I understand. This is, I need retinol in my life. I get it. Sometimes with retinol, you can see improvement with uh, fine lines, dark spots, texture, and the tone of your skin. So even though retinol is, you know, fantastic and has a lot of great benefits, I was also glad that I was doing my research because I found that there also can definitely be um, some drawbacks to using the retinol. And then if you have sensitive skin, this was something that really stuck out to me um, because it can cause like dryness, peeling, or skin ir irritation. A lot of people will recommend using a retinol moisturizer every other night to make sure that your skin can handle it and that you don't have any of those adverse effects. Me having sensitive skin when I saw that, I was like, okay, I'm not using this every night right off the bat. I will use it every other night. I did not notice anything um, negative when I was doing it every other night. Um, I had no real dryness to my skin. I had no peeling to my skin, anything like that. I was not irritated at all when I used this. So after about a week of doing every other night, I moved it to every night. And again, still, I have had no issues. So that's definitely something I want to recommend. I mean, for everybody, but especially if you do have sensitive skin, try that every other night. Make sure that you don't have any of those effects. And then you can go from there. So I have been able to use this every night without any problem. The thing about retinol is that it can kind of like increase your skin to being prone to the UV rays. So when you are consistently using the retinol, you do want to be using other products that do have SPF or some sort of UV ray protection, which is good because that is actually what the AM facial moisturizer has in it. So it's kind of like combating that as well. But that's something to be important of if you don't use a moisturizer or any products with SPF in it and you do regularly use the retinol moisturizer, you could be more prone to sunburn, some damage, that sort of thing. So again, the retinol moisturizer was definitely the one that I had like piqued my interest the most because it is supposed to be so good for anti-aging, for the fine lines, for the wrinkles, for what I am most concerned about with my skincare right now. You know, maybe if you are in your teens, you're in your early 20s, maybe you don't have quite those concerns yet, you lucky dogs, you. But if you are starting to get concerned about that or you just wanna start preventing anti-aging, preventing is something that I think is super important as well, you might wanna check out something with retinol in it. And this retinol moisturizer, I have been finding myself um, getting along with very, very well. And again, like I said, it is more affordable to me from some of the other retinol moisturizers that I have found so at only $18 I think that is a really good price but this was one that I was definitely very excited to try I will keep using this every night again of course because I want to make sure that I see those benefits um, from having some anti-aging skincare in my line as well but uh, that was the final product that was sent to me the retinol moisturizer okay, so those are the three products that were sent to me by Ella Frida that I have been able to test out and share my thoughts and feedback on I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. I didn't just want to sit up here and say like you need this product, you need this product. I more wanted to explain what it is, the ingredients, how it works, who it's good for, that sort of thing because when with skincare we are all very different we all have very different skincare needs and because something works for me it might not work for you you know that sort of thing so I wanted to try to make this somewhat educational without sounding like I totally know what I'm doing because I don't want to uh I don't want anyone to think that like I'm some sort of like skincare expert or trained I'm definitely not I just wanted to be able to take the time and do some research so I could talk to you a little bit more in depth about each of these products um, but I have been very impressed with everything I'm using so far like I said I will continue to use these there's a couple that you know I'm especially excited about the hyaluronic acid serum just had me so excited like I said I'm traveling with this I normally don't travel with my normal skincare products but this was one that I was like this needs to keep coming with me because I'm so excited about it I think in between a combination of this and then also the facial moisturizer so I have very normal skin I don't have super oily skin I don't have super dry skin but one thing that this might sound really weird but I had a dry patch of skin right along here like right towards the edge of my eyebrow and then all along this side of my temple and there was a point where it was even getting into my eyebrows because when I would go to do my brows and I would spoolie through them like dead skin was falling into my lashes and it was getting really bad and I could tell that patch of dry skin was getting bigger and I 
to, I mean, to this day, I have no idea what it was about. It wasn't on this side. It was only on this side. I didn't have dry patches anywhere else on my face except for my right temple. It was very strange. Since I have started using these products, that dry patch is completely gone. It is not there. It's nowhere to be seen. And I am super thankful for that because it was really annoying, especially with certain foundations. Or like I said, when I was like brushing through to do my eyebrows, I was dealing with a dead skin. And sometimes if I took out liner or eyeshadow really far I would run into the dry skin over there and I'm like what the heck is going on so um because this is so good with moisturizing but then this how it says how this is just like basically like the most fantastic moisturizer ever I think in between the combo of using these it cleared that patch right up so I was super thankful for that and then again like I mentioned um I think that this was good for my breakouts that I was dealing with and also that I have my husband on it now too because his skin has definitely calmed down since he started using this as well so that makes me really happy. That was definitely some feedback that I wanted to deliver as well. And like I said, these are very big jars for the moisturizers. These are very big jars. These are going to last me a really long time. I have only been using them for a month, but I feel like from using the retinol, I've been dealing with um, pretty bad wrinkles like right here in the middle of my forehead. And I can tell that they are starting to lessen, which I am so thankful for. This is a part of my night skincare routine. I take my makeup off, I cleanse my face. This is what I use before I go to bed. Um, it has replaced like any of my sleeping creams that I use. I am now using this Monday through Friday as part of my normal skincare routine. And I feel like I can tell that these between my eyebrows are starting to not look as fierce. Hopefully that will keep continuing as I keep using it, but that is something that I feel like I've noticed from using the retinol as well. Again, it's supposed to be excellent for anti-aging, which is what I want to be focusing my skincare on definitely right now as I am now officially in my 30s. But those are kind of my reviews and feedback and hopefully a little educational portion on these products from Ella Frida as well. Again, a really big thank you to them for reaching out to me and for sponsoring this video and for letting me incorporate some skincare into my routine that I've been really wanting to add and I'm just, I'm very appreciative to that. So again, I will have these products linked down below that can be found on Amazon and I will have the 10% off coupon code that is not an, um, a discount affiliate code for me. It is just going to be a discount for you guys but if you found something in here that you think would be really a good added benefit to your skincare routine I definitely suggest checking it out because it's also not going to break your bank which I think is very fantastic. So that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful. I sincerely do. Please do leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you do use any of these types of ingredients in your skincare and what you think of them or just be your best skincare tip in general. I'm super into skincare. Um, I think it's very important. I share my skincare videos a lot on Instagram because I do think it's something that we should take very seriously. I mean, I know makeup is super fun and all of that, but this is your skin, this is your face. We need to take care of it. And and that's just why I'm very passionate about skincare. So I had a great time making this video today and being able to do some of my research as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you go. And I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye.